Hi, this is Christine with Digital Come Up. Today's tutorial is going to cover sliders. Um, so as you can see, this website that I built for my company makes use of a large image slider right on the home page. Um, and this slider has four, four different images that it scrolls through. And I use it to kind of highlight four areas of content or um, you know aspects of the blog that I want people visitors to be aware of. So this one tells people this is how you can learn about our project. The second one is a link for people to subscribe. So kind of a call to action. The third one is a portal to our latest news that goes to the news page. And the last one links to the project goal. So if people want to learn more about what the project is doing, you know, what kind of stuff they're working on, they can click on that. So that's kind of how I decided to structure the homepage slider. There's of course many other ways to structure yours. Um, and my other company's web, my company's other websites, they use the slider to highlight recent news articles. Um, so you know you could put your most recent news up there, link to your blog posts. Um, other ideas are to highlight if you're doing a promotion, you can you know put that front and center. If you're having a sale, if you're having an event. Um, you know, all these are all great things to put on your slider. Uh, just a few tips before we dive into how to set up the slider. Um, it's best not to have too many pictures on your slider. I would say no more than three or four. Uh, you don't want to get five or six, seven, because people likely won't be sitting here looking at your slider until they see the whole thing go through. Um, they'll probably have scrolled or clicked uh, or left your page altogether way before your seventh slide pops up. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, shoot for three or four slider, three or four images on your slider. Um, and then also, uh, you know, play around. You could test out different strategies if you want to try showcasing your news and see how that works. You could try that. If you want to try to link to different pages, you could try that. Um, if you want to have them be calls to action, you could try that. So definitely play around and see what works best for you. So I'm going to dive in to how to actually make the slider now that I've given that introduction to slider strategy. Um, and I use a plugin to manage my slider and it's called Meta Slider. Um, and Meta Slider is integrated with my theme. So I've built this website with the Vantage theme um, and they are, I guess, in partnership with Meta Slider. So uh, it works really well with um, with Vantage, but I believe it's also supported by many other themes. So even if you're not using Vantage, you should check it out and see if it'll work for you. Uh, and my computer is being pretty slow today. Let's see if it will load a little quicker. Um, this might actually be a good time to mention another strategy for sliders. Um, well, you know, I could get into that later. But we can, uh, so if you see on the, on the dashboard, uh, I have the Meta Slider plugin over on my left panel, um, just the, the gateway to it. So if you don't have Meta Slider yet, you can download it by um, going to add new plugins. You can search for Meta Slider. Um, and then once you download it and activate it, you'll be able to see it in your sidebar. So if you click on this Meta Slider pop out, it will take you to um, <clears throat> the page where you can start building and editing your slider. So this is the meta slider kind of, uh, you know, working area. Um, and you can have as many sliders as you want. You don't only need to build one. So new slider, this is just a general slider. Obviously, it's not the one that I have on my home page. It just has a bunch of different images kind of to show you different things. Um, and this text slider, this is the one that I have on my homepage. So you'll see that it has um, the four images that you saw before laid out right there. So once you're in here, um, you know, to add, to add a new slider, you can click this plus button. You can call them whatever you want. You know, you could call it your home slider, news slider, whatever. Um, 
and then once you have have that set up you can click on this add slide to add a new slide and that will just go to your media library so you could either upload a new photo or choose a pre-existing photo that you have in your library um, and then once you select the photos you want you know let's say I want that one I can click add to slider and it'll put it in this list and once you have all the photos you want in here, you can order them however you want, just by dragging them and dropping them. Um, and then you can make more edits to the images themselves. So you can give images captions, you can have them link to an external page or to a page on your blog or website. Uh, you can choose whether or not the page will open in a new window. You can add some SEO text. Admittedly, I <laughs> did not do this. I don't really know much about SEO but it's an area to learn. Uh, but if you're an SEO expert, go crazy here. And crop gives you a little bit more freedom um, or more control, I should say, over where exactly the image will crop. So center, center if your image, you know, if you wanna focus on that middle part, but maybe the really interesting part of your photo is in the top left. So you can tell the computer to crop there. Um, so once you have all of that set up, uh, that's basically how you build your slider, uh, your images. Over here you can see there's a few settings. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, I'm using the Vantage theme and Vantage recommends using the Flex slider with the Vantage Flex theme. But if you're not using Vantage, you can play around. There's four different options. They all look a little bit different. So you can see what looks best on your website. You can change the size of the images. You can change the sliding effect when they transition between images. Um, you can choose what navigation elements uh, the user will see. And then there's some more customization settings. So you can choose how wide your slider is, where it's aligned, how it scrolls through, um, you know, how quickly it goes. There's really a lot of options. If they make it pretty easy to set it up how you want it. Um, and then they also provide you with a short code. So if you want to put your slider into a page, you can just copy and paste this directly into a page. And I can show you that later just to um, show you how simple it is to do. But first I wanted to show you how I got the slider on my, um, on my homepage. So I'm going to go over to this screen and I go to appearance theme settings. And again, I'm using the Vantage theme. So if you're not using Vantage, this process might be a little bit different for you. Um, so just keep that in mind. But if you are using Vantage, you will go to that Appearance theme settings and go to the Home tab. And then the Home page slider, you can choose. If you don't want one, you know, obviously you wouldn't have built one, but um, you, you'll select None or you can select one of your other sliders. So text slider was the one with those four images. So that one is selected. Um, you can choose whether or not it's stretched the whole width of the page. This, is, this will only stretch if you're using the full width layout. I'm actually using the boxed layout. So this doesn't, this gets overridden for my site. Um, and then you'll save the settings and then you will have that big slider on the top of your home page. Um, but to go back to this other point with the short code, if you want to put a slider just in a, in a page that's not your home page, you can copy and paste that short copy that short code and then put it in a separate page or a post. So I'll just show you what this looks like. So you can just you could even use the visual tab to do this and copy that code in there. And I'll preview the page so you can see what it looks like. And you see, yep, there it is. The slider is right there. Uh, you'll notice it's more narrow than the one on my home page. That's because I have widgets in my sidebar. Um, the slider won't override your, your layout, your template layout, but um, it'll, you know, it'll put it in that blank space that you have available. Um, but yeah, this could be really helpful. Let's say you, you're, have a news page and you have a slider that highlights your most recent news, this could be a nice thing to put on the top of that page to make a news page a little more interesting. Um, you know, maybe you have a shop and you have like three items that are on sale and you want to highlight that. Um, 
or maybe you have an event coming up and you have like three speaker bios you want to highlight, you could really, you know, get creative with how you use the slider on your page. Um, and to return to the point I made earlier about another slider strategy, um, I've heard recently uh, from a coworker that um, an interesting strategy could be to have three, three different images. And the first one you would update weekly, the second one you would update monthly, and the third one you would update quarterly. So the weekly one could be like really recent news, something a visitor, you know, would be new every time they visit, a returning visitor could, you know, constantly see new content. The second one, your monthly update one, could be something that your company or your brand or your blog or whatever uh, wants to highlight that month. So a current event, but, you know, something that has like an ongoing goal. And then the third one is your quarterly one. That could be like a bigger mission statement or maybe you have like a really big event coming up um, or you're having like a really big promotion. So just another strategy to keep in mind as you're deciding how to build your sliders and how best to use them to um, highlight your content and to create a better user experience. Um, so that is about all. Um, I could show you actually one other way to add a slider to a page. So if you're using Page Builder, you can add Meta Slider as a widget. So sometimes I do like to structure pages and build pages with Page Builder. Um, and you could always copy and paste the short code into an editor widget. Um, but this is even easier. So you can select, you see you have, I have my two sliders here. I'll select my home page one again. And we can preview the page. Um, and it should look exactly the same as it does now. But I'll just show you. So you have two different ways to add them to your page. And using the widget, you could also... Uh, box out the size. So if you didn't want it to be this full width, if you wanted to have a little text here, or a little text here, you could use the page builder to kind of lay out your page more too. So that is everything about the meta slider. Um, remember that this is really a tutorial focused on the Vantage theme, but a lot of this should be applicable even if you're using a different theme, but just keep in mind that some things may be different for you um, if you're using a theme other than Vantage. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out, you know, leave a comment. Um, you can try to contact me through, through my website. But thank you so much for watching, and this has been a Digital Come Up tutorial.